Cougar fans, and welcome to the Atlanta Central Sports Network podcast, where myself and Mr. Burks sit down each and every week and discuss some Cougar coverage. So let's start out with the high school girls basketball team. Yeah, so high school girls, um, this could be their final week. Uh, hopefully that's not the case, but you know, uh, getting the month of February, we start wrapping up some winter sports. So um, they played last night uh, over at Olympia. Um, you know, the, the Sangamo Conference has been pretty tough on them, which has been tough on us as well. But they have one more shot this week to uh, end the season with the W. Um, they are hosting Williamsville on Thursday night, which would be a senior night. But since we don't have any seniors, um, there won't be any big celebration. So uh, that's a varsity only game at six. So come on out to the Cougar Den. And, you know, watch the, the ten girls or so that are that are playing, um, and you'll get to see them all play again next year. So hopefully, they end the the regular season off with a win. That would be pretty fun beating Williamsville, and then that should transition them and give them give them some confidence heading into regional play. Yeah, so I watched that game last night, and they, they looked really good in the first half. Of yeah, the they had a lead early. Yeah. Yep, and it was fun to watch. But so, like you said, it's no seniors, so yep. it'll be – They'll all be back. They'll all be back, and they all keep getting better. Mm-hmm. Is that it for high school girls? Well, so Saturday they're uh, regionals. They're going to Abingdon to play. So they're uh, 6 o'clock game at Abingdon. Um, they'll have a chance to win that one, um, and then that would put them in the Havana Regional um, next week. But hopefully they can take care of business on Thursday and then Saturday and then extend their season a little bit that because that experience is going to pay dividends down the road. So, Yep, and then after regionals, they just got to keep working, keep working, yep. and improve for next year or improve for a sectional. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, even if their season does come to, come to an end, I know they'll be, you know, in the gym a lot this spring and, and summer to get ready um, for other sports and for next basketball season as well. So Now that wraps up high school girls, and let's move on to the high school boys basketball. So high school boys, uh, you know, we're recording this a day later, so it's Tuesday. We are home tonight in the Cougar Den against Olympia. Um, we have, this is a winnable game for us. Um, if you've been following us last week, you've known, we've noticed we've had guys coming back and guys injured and sick, and so I think, I think knock on wood, uh, we're going to have everybody here tonight. Um, so hopefully we're able to, uh, you know, put some things together and play well and, uh, you know, beat an Olympia team that now they've, they've played pretty well in conference as well, um, but this should be a good matchup for us, so I'm looking forward to that. And then that'll take us to Friday night at Athens. A uh, huge game, obviously big rivalry game. We've been real close to beating them the last few years. We've been right there. Um, should be another battle. You know, if we're able to win that one, that will still give us a chance to go to the line and bluffs and have a share for the the tie for the tomahawk. Um, so it's a big week. You know, we need to continue to put some things together and get better. I'm looking forward to tonight. And then, you know, if if you don't make it to the Cougar Day tonight, you know, take the short drive down uh, Route 29 to Athens on Friday and watch that one because that one will be a, that one will be a battle. So yeah, and like you said, that one that puts us to play to tie for the tomahawk yeah. championship, but all. Also, we do play for the Tomahawk at yeah. Atlanta Beach. Yeah. So, yeah, the Tomahawk will be on the floor, well, assuming Delvin doesn't meet him Friday night, which hopefully doesn't happen because we want to play for that. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, we're, you know, we beat Athens. We're at least giving ourselves a, a shot at a title, which that's fun heading into the final week. Um, we also are seeding for regionals tomorrow. So, by, you know, Friday night, uh, we'll know who our opponent is and where we're going. Um, unfortunately, we're probably going to be on the road for the first round of regionals as opposed to hosting. Um, but you know we'll get a shot to play somebody local, and uh, it should be fun. So we just need to keep getting better and uh, finding some things out and staying healthy, playing with our, our best players the whole game, and uh, we could still have some fun here in these final two weeks. Yeah, and then after this week, we've got one more week left until mm-hmm. regionals. Yeah, busy week. So that week we'll have four games. So Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, uh, going to be some winnable games in there. So winnable games and also you know playing IB and Pleasant Plains, and so it, it'll be fun to be a challenge, um, but this is the this is the exciting time of year. So yeah, and like Coach Pearson just said yesterday, you know we only got five more practices left yep. or we're, four more now. We're wrapping up. Yeah, we're wrapping up. It's and, getting real close to the end of the season. So now's now's winning time. We we gotta yep. start winning. Go to regionals. We we have to win. Win or go home. Yeah, now's when uh, some losses come with tears because that's the end of seasons and careers. So um, we'll we'll take care of business this week and then we'll move into that next week. But yeah, it's definitely nearing the end here. All right, so that'll wrap up for with high school. 
school. Uh, the only middle school sports that's going on right now is middle school volleyball. Yeah, middle school volleyball is in Easton tonight. It's a 5 p.m. start for the seventh grade, uh, so a little earlier night. Um, and then they kind of got a little time off. They're playing in a bunch of tournaments this month on Saturdays, so their their weeks are pretty light. Um, but hopefully they do well tonight over in Easton. So if you want to make it over to that game, then you can probably stop by the Cougar Den on your way home and check out check us out in the second half. Um, have a nice fun night of Cougar sports. So, so we all, just two games tonight, middle school and then our game. Yep. So. Not much going on. No, not much. We're wrapping up, and uh, you know, before long, you know, it feels like spring out there today. Before long, we'll be talking about the spring sports. It's but nice uh, out. Yeah, it is very nice. Especially since it's been, you know, yeah, snowy and freezing, cold. Freezing, yeah, windy, but yeah, it's it's nice out. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hopefully, we have a strong finish for some of our winter sports here um, before we get into the spring sports. But there, there's still a lot of action to be had around here, and we hope to see you either in the Cougar Den or out outside when we get that stuff going. So. Well, thank you, Coach Birch, for sitting down with me to discuss another week of last. Mm-hmm of sports and thank you guys for watching and come back next week for more cougar coverage right here on the last of sports network